Folks, welcome back and happy new year. I have your latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending December 28th, 2022. Let me tell you what we see every year at this time. Leading up to December, lots of properties that were on the market for sale come off the market. Now some come off because they were set to expire. The listing expires at the end of the year and others come off the market because the sellers cancel their listing. Now, the majority of those will come back on the market in January. And we've seen some already come back on the market and we're just in the first week of January. And, and here's the really interesting part. Some of those that come back on the market are gonna have a new marketing strategy, maybe a new pricing strategy, new photos, new this, new that. They're gonna come on in a different strategy in a different mindset with the attitude we're gonna sell. And others come back on the market the same way they exited the market. No change, it's just the listing gets refreshed. And you gotta wonder why would they do that? If they do what they did before to have a no sell, what makes those sellers think if they do exactly the same thing, they're gonna get different results? Chances are, no. If they do exactly the same thing, they're probably gonna get the same results, no sell. We see it every year. It seems more exaggerated this year that more properties came off the market without a sale and now back on and you're gonna see it again this year. Some come back on, motivated, excited, make some changes, and others do exactly the same. If you think this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. Let's get into the numbers. If you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. Below this video in the description, you'll find a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you. This way I'll know ahead of time and I'll make sure my schedule is organized so we can talk about whatever's on your mind. You're going to see that sales are very, very close to half of what they were the previous year. So sales for 2022, half of where they were in 2021. Why is that? Well, two reasons. Buyers have seen their, their affordability, their, their buying power cut dramatically. And York Region has some of the higher prices of the GTA, so buyers can't afford to buy. And lots of, seller have chose, lots of sellers have chosen not to sell at the prices that they would need to come down to and have just not put their homes on the market. Or tried and took their homes off the market. So sales are way down. Let's get into the numbers. We're gonna start here with Vaughn. I have Vaughn. This is just detached properties for week ending December 28th. This is the last week ending for 2022. And I gotta say, any of these numbers that we're looking at for the last week of 2022 and the first week of 2023, they include the Christmas break, they include the New Year's in between there. Don't take these numbers so seriously. I don't wanna skip them, so I'm doing the report, but just don't take them so serious. So for week ending December 28th, for Vaughn, eight detached properties were sold. Two of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price sitting at 1,964, which is way up from the previous week, but remember, only eight were sold and two were at $2 million or more. 1,964,000 is 1% lower than where the average sold price was a year ago. And the median price of 1,749,000 is 2.3% uh, lower than what it was a year ago. Year to date sales, we saw 43% fewer sales of detached properties in Vaughn for 2022 versus 2021. And we saw 14% fewer sales in 
fewer listings in 2022 versus 2021. And remember, this is just for Vaughn and only detached properties. Months of inventory shot up to 4.7 months of inventory. That was Vaughn. Here's Richmond Hill. Five, that's it. Five, that's all. Five detached properties were sold. One of those was at $2 million or more. Average sold price sitting at 1,833,000. 1,833 is 15% lower than where the average sold price was a year before that. The median price of 1,780,000 is 11% lower than where the median price was a year before that. Year to date sales. So for 2022, we saw 46% fewer sales of detached properties in Richmond Hill than we did in the prior year, 2021. So 46% fewer sales. We saw 27% fewer listings year over year and months of inventory for week ending December 28th, sitting at 4.8 months of inventory. Wait till you see Markham. Eight detached properties were sold one of those was at $2 million or more. Average sold price, I, I can't explain it. It's right down to 1,471,000. Well, I say I can't explain it. I can explain it. It's just that's the combination of those eight properties, but eight is not a good enough sampling to get a true average sold price. And that's why we're sitting at 1,471,000, way lower than what it was the previous week. It could have just as easily gone the other way if just one or two more of the luxury properties were sold. So don't take these numbers so serious. 1,471,000 is 26% lower than where the average sold price was a year before that. The median price of 1,322,000 is 29% lower than where the median price was a year before that. And year to date sales, almost half of where sales were the previous year. So for 2022, for Markham detached properties, we had 49% fewer sales of detached properties versus 2021. And we had 28% fewer listings of detached properties. Months of inventory for Markham sitting at 3.7 months of inventory. Here are condos. Now this is condos for all of York region. For week ending December 28th, 12 condos were sold. That's it, just 12. Um, no condos were sold at $1 million or more. And average sold price, pretty much what it was the previous week, sitting at 654,000. 654 is 9% lower than where the average sold price was the prior year. And the median price of 638 is 8% lower than where the median price was a year before that. Year to date sales, we saw 37% fewer condo sales in 2021, sorry, in 2022 than we did in 2021, but we saw 4% more listings in 2022 than we did in 2021. And months of inventory because sales dropped so much in that last week, uh, a week ending December 28th, months of inventory shot up to 7.8 months of inventory. Here's a quick summary. Look, it's year-end sales. The fewer the sales, the lower the number, the more the prices are going to be up and down and less accurate. But it's not just the sales. It's not just average price. It also affects median price, also affects months of inventory. So look at the numbers understand what's happening. The most important thing, if you're looking to transact, if you're looking to buy and sell, what's happening in your neighborhood that's more important right now than any of these numbers come year end. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.